So now we move on to a type of machine that looks a lot like a pulley, but actually operates using the principles of a lever. And this is because it takes advantage of a difference in lever arms to perform the same amount of torque, but requiring less force to do so. This is a eccentric pulley or a modified lever. And the way you recognize these is by having two gears that are connected, where one of the gears is smaller than the other one, or if you have a single pulley-like apparatus, but it doesn't rotate around the center, but instead its axis of rotation is centered somewhere else over to the side. And so whenever you see either of these two systems, either connected gears or a pulley with an asymmetric axis of rotation, the first thing you should think is that you need to analyze this as a lever, where you're looking at torque equaling force times lever arm. So in this one over here, we have two gears that are connected, and so they'll be rotating at the same time. But one of them has a much larger axis of, of uh, rotation, a larger lever arm. And so you have five meters of lever arm here versus only one meter of lever arm over there. So when you pull on this over here on the right, you're going to be pulling down on something with a five meter lever arm, and so it's going to reduce the amount of force necessary to lift this 100 Newton object with a one meter lever arm. So you're basically going to get an output of 100 Newtons times that one meter versus an input of 20 Newtons over a five meter lever arm. And so the torque is gonna be the same for each of these strings in the system. Now, when you're working with something with an asymmetric axis of rotation, it's very much the same type of principle. You look at the lever arm from the point of rotation to where the force is being applied. And remember that a lever arm is always going to be uh, perpendicular to the actual force vector. So if this force is going up, the lever arm is going to be measured completely horizontally. And because this has a one meter lever arm and a hundred Newton force, you're gonna be able to have a much larger lever arm over here, and that will reduce the amount of force necessary to generate the torque to lift this object. So you put in 10 Newtons of force pulling this way, you multiply that by the uh, 10 meters, and that's gonna give you 100 units of torque, just the same as the output torque, which is 100 Newtons uh, this way times the one meter. And so like any other machine, you're going to be having a smaller amount of input force due to the fact that the distance or the lever arm is greater. And because, even though these look like pulleys, because you're operating on a lever arm basis, you analyze these as though they were levers. And so whenever you see a pulley that's attached to another pulley like this, or if you see a pulley where they draw a dot showing the center of rotation not being in the center, then you simply analyze it using the torque equals force times lever principle that you use to analyze any lever. And that's called an eccentric pulley. And be aware of this because they like to bring this up on the MCAT and trick you into thinking you're working with a pulley. But in fact, because of the difference in lever arms, you're actually working with a lever there.